All right, stream. We got us a uh, we got us a good one today. We got some more McDonald's content. So McDonald's has a lot of new items today, and I'm gonna be trying them for you guys. Not all of them, since I uh, you know can only eat so much, but we'll definitely try a bunch of these items. All right. So for today we have what looks like a Terry Tama. Not sure what that means, but we have three options as you can see here. We have this one, uh, no cheese, this one with cheese, and then this one, which is the thick slice spicy bacon teritama. Very interesting, and you can definitely see here, we have a nice piece of bacon, nice little seasoning on that bacon. We got the egg, got what I believe is a teritama, and we got this looking spicy sauce. Should be interesting as well. So for today, we're gonna be trying this one, obviously the star of the show. Been trying this one with cheese, the one without cheese, I'm like, bruh, might as well just get cheese most of the time. And so they also have these two new drinks. So we're gonna be trying this one. So this drink is the McFizz Ponkin from Ehime Prefecture. 1% fruit juice, no idea what the hell that is. But let's read the description. A fruity carbonated drink that uses Ponkin juice from Ehime Prefecture to enjoy the refreshing aroma of Ponkin and the rich sweetness and acidity. When mix the orange color spreads throughout making it a vivid item. All right, so we'll definitely make sure to mix that. So we got this one, the float, with a little bit of ice cream on top, you know, make it nice. The other one was a pink grapefruit lemonade, which I felt was a boring one. Pink grapefruit lemonade, just imagine that. We're also trying this other item right here, which is basically shaka shaka potato smoked cheese flavor. So it's basically like if you ever ate raw ramen back when you were young or as a kid. So what you do is you take the fries, you put it in a bag, and so then you add the seasoning to the bag, you shake the fries, and obviously, you know, they're seasoned just like this picture right over here. And so we'll be trying those items, the fries, this drink, and then we're gonna be trying the cheese one and the spicy one. So that's what we're gonna try today. All right, so let's start bringing out these items and let's start looking at the wrappers. So here's my fries, we'll save that for later. We can start with the burgers for now. Ooh, and here we have the burgers, so we have these wonderful wrapping on the burger upside down so it's somewhat like that cherry blossom wrapper on the burger as you can tell a little cherry blossomy on there it's a very nice wrapper it's a little a little bland in terms of like the tone the i prefer the other ones which have a little bit more of a brighter tone this one seems a little bit more bland but i do like the cherry blossoms on it this one definitely looks a little bit nicer with the yellow it's the exact same wrapper you do have the cherry blossoms Obviously, this different color. This one's yellow, while this one is orange. Probably to show that this one's the spicy one. And not sure, but I just realized that this one has a warning label. You can tell right here. So I wonder if this warning label is to show that it's spicy. That's the first time I've ever seen a warning label just because something's spicy. So we have our two burgers. We'll put them right here, put them right there. And then we have our fries. We do have our bag for the fries right here. So we put the fries in here, put the flavoring, shake it, and then eat it up. Here's that drink, a little bit of a two-tone color. You have the yellow up here and the orange down here. You do have the float on top. And lastly, we do have the smoked cheese flavor for the fries. So we'll put that aside for now. Here, we might as well start with the drink since that is the fastest thing we could try right now we do get our straw so we can mix it so let's see if it actually spreads the orange oh wow that's pretty interesting very bubbly very fizzy let's try it tastes nice i like the carbonation i like the flavor though the flavor is very mild you don't taste too much of a flavor to be honest It tastes fruity. That's kind of it. You just get a mild fruity taste. You more get the carbonation of the bubbles. So it tastes all right. It's not too sweet. That's a good thing though. The good thing is I don't taste a lot of sweetness. So it's a nice refreshing and fruity drink. You won't get a punch of flavor like you're probably used to, but it's very good if you want a nice refreshing and mild taste and flavor. Pretty good. All right. So let's start with the cheese one. Save the bacon one for last. Save the best for last. So let's see what this looks like and tastes like. So pulling it out of the wrapper, it does look a little bit of a, like a mess. So you can definitely tell. So there's the cheese. Definitely see a lot of the mayo on there. Notice that the bun is a little bit wet with the sauce of the teritama. The teritama is soaked in sauce. And you can see the egg is right there. 
It's a little bit, in terms of presentation, it does look a little bit messy. My hands are getting a little bit dirty, not too much. But obviously, you know, when you want to eat a burger, you kind of don't want to get your hands too dirty. But anyways, let's try it. It's all in the taste, all in the taste. This is very good. This is really good. So you can definitely taste the egg. The great thing about McDonald's is they make the eggs fresh. The egg definitely tastes good. You can get that nice egg taste. The cheese as well. If you're getting this, definitely get the cheese. It's very good. Adds a little bit of saltiness and a lot of cheesy flavor to it. The mayo, although it did look like a mess, doesn't seem like there's a lot of mayo or the flavor isn't too punchy of the mayo. And the teritama is very good. It's very delicious. Hmm. So here's a cross section of the burger. You can definitely see the teritama is a very thin patty. You do have the egg, you do have some mayo, you do have some lettuce. You can see a little bit of the cheese melted onto and mix up here. It is very good. Though obviously the patty is a little bit thinner than what you're probably used to. Hmm. But this is very good so far. Mm. I love the teritama, the taste of the teritama. I believe teritama is made out of pork, which is very delicious. So it's like a thin pork patty instead of a thin beef patty. I'll definitely correct myself if I'm wrong in the video, but it's very good. It's very delicious. I think I would prefer, I would love to try a Big Mac with Teritama. That sounds like it would be very delicious. Hmm. Kind of tastes a little bit like a breakfast sausage as well. I believe a Teritama is a breakfast sausage. Might be, not 100% sure, but very delicious. That was good. Oh my God. Very rich, punchy flavor from the teritama. Again, you get the egg. You get, you get everything. Mm. I'll give my, I'll give more thoughts later after I've tried the spicy one. All right, let's dig into the spicy one with the label included. Last time we tried a spicy item, the unfortunate thing is that it didn't taste spicy at all. You only got like a little mild tingling sensation on the tongue if I remember correctly. And so I'm hoping that this one packs more of a spicy pun. Damn, this one feels a lot thicker. I feel like I'm gonna make a mess. So you can see here's the patty or the burger, a little bit messy as well. This is probably the most messiest part, but it's good. We can see a cross section. You got the teritama, you got the egg, you got the piece of bacon with the seasoning on the side. You do get a little bit of the spicy sauce poking out from here. It's a little bit hard to show the spicy sauce, but you can see some of that spicy sauce there. I just don't want to make a mess and spill it all over my keyboard. Now, let me see if I can organize this a little bit more. All right, so let's try the spicy terry time. I'm looking forward to see how spicy it is and I'm looking forward to see how the seasoning on the bacon adds to the taste. Let's dig in. Try one more big bite. One more nice and big bite, including the bacon and sauce. So, for starters, the spicy sauce, oh, definitely packing a punch. Night tastes good. I'm feeling the heat in the back of my throat, a little bit on the tip of my tongue, more uh, some on the roof of my mouth, but it's more concentrated in the back of my, uh, back of my throat. But the heat is very good. It's very good heat. Hmm. You could probably tell that I'm suffering a little bit from the heat. The great thing about the heat is that it adds the flavor. A lot of the times they add heat, just to add heat, just to say something spicy. Not just McDonald's exclusively, but I, I'm not a big fan of when people make things spicy just to make it spicy. And it doesn't add anything to the flavor and then it's hard to taste anything else. But in this specific instance, you can taste the heat of the sauce. You can taste the bacon. You can taste the pepperness pepper of the bacon as well. Very good spices. You can taste the egg, you can taste everything. You can also taste the teritama, and it's very good. I very much enjoy this burger. I do wish that they would add a second strip of bacon though. Because the issue with the bacon is like, if you have one strip of bacon, you won't always get the taste of the bacon, right? But if they had two of them, then you would always have a bit of that bacon with every single bite. And you could definitely taste the bacon. And as I always say, I wish the bacon was a little crispy. Not sure about here though. I feel like the non-crispy bacon here definitely adds a little bit more flavor and taste. I'm not sure if crisping the bacon would be good for this burger. 
not 100 percent sure I'm trying to picture i'm trying to taste but it seems like crisping the bacon wouldn't add to this at all i feel like the boy the bacon is it's good enough but i do wish they added a second one hmm so far very impressed very 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 impressed with what i'm trying to do some of this to clean my throat I guess another inherent issue of this is you can already tell that I'm already pretty much done the drink. Pretty much almost done. What I don't like is this thing is completely filled with ice. And so a lot of the volume in here is not even juice. It's mostly just ice. And then you have a little bit of ice cream seeping inside. And so for the price of this, which is for the McFlow version 310, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say this is worth it all. This is not really worth it. Although it is nice, it is refreshing. I don't think adding the ice cream is enough. I wonder if you could order this without ice. If you can order this without ice, then that would be a cheat code because you would get significantly more of the drink. So definitely if you plan to order this, definitely get it without ice. All right, last order of business. We got the fries. So let's say the fries, are they still nice and hot after the past however long it's been? Still a little bit warm, very salty though. I wonder if the saltiness of the fries will play an impact on how it tastes. So let's throw our fries inside of the bag. Let's open our smoked cheese. Pour that inside of the bag. So this is what it looks like before I pour it in the bag. It looks like a cheesy flavor, a little bit pale in color compared to normal cheddar cheese. So let's throw that in there. Throw that in there. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. So we have somewhat of an even coating along all the fries. So here, let's get us some nice fries. So that you can see the fries are a little bit seasoned with the smoked cheddar. Okay. So far, so good. So far, I'm liking it. I'm trying to taste to see if the salt plays any factor in terms of the taste. Mm, so those are pretty good. I like it. Definitely tastes a lot better than the other fries I tried. I tried a different pair of fries back in the day and the other pair of fries tasted just like ramen. It didn't taste good at all. I figured I might as well just eat raw ramen at that point. But this one, you actually taste the smokiness, you taste the cheese, definitely adds to the flavor. I don't think the salt plays a huge part in terms of the taste, but I probably would suggest if you're going to go with these fries, see if you're gonna ask them no salt. That way, one, you get fresh fries and two, you're already adding seasoning to the fries. Adding additional salt will just make it worse as well as just make it more thirsty. All right, let's go over what we just ate. So again, Terry Tama, delicious pork patties, which is entwined with teriyaki sauce with ginger, apples, and garlic as a secret ingredient. For the cheese one, the cheese definitely added a little bit of flavor to it, a little bit of saltiness and added to the burger, as well as you have the mayo, you have the lettuce. And so I believe for the normal Terry Tama with cheese, perfect, pog. Definitely, if you can try it, try it. It's very good. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. If you're not a fan of cheese, I believe the one without cheese should taste just as good. It's just missing the saltiness of the cheese and the cheesy flavor on it. So the Terry Tama with cheese, definitely, pog, approved, go get it, go try it. Now. The thick slice spicy bacon Terry Tama. That one also part. That one has the added bacon. You can definitely taste the bacon in your mouth. Very good. You can taste the peppers on the bacon in your mouth. Adds a little bit more flavor to it. The spicy sauce, very good. Adds a little bit of heat. I would say it's more like a four on the heat scale. You can definitely taste it. You saw me suffering a little bit from it, but not too much, not too spicy. It's very good. It adds a little bit of flavor, adds more depth to the burger. And I would say the combination of the thick slice spicy bacon, definitely delicious. Now, the issue is that this one is the most expensive item at 450 yen. And so I don't think it's worth you constantly getting that one if you plan to go to McDonald's often. I'd say this one is delicious as pog, probably a 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10. I don't care at this point. It's just delicious. I recommend definitely one, one and done. Try it once, you're good. You'll probably get in as much flavor getting the uh, cheese one. So definitely both those burgers, perfect pog. Go try them out. Now, when we go to the fries, again, the fries are very good. I like the smokiness. I like the cheese sauce on, not the cheese sauce, but the cheese powder on the, uh, on the fries. And I really, really, really enjoy how it tastes. It doesn't taste bland. It doesn't taste too much. I was able to get a nice even coating and so every single fries tasted very well. Obviously, again, if you're gonna get these fries, if you're gonna get this mixing powder, the smoked cheese, definitely I recommend get fresh fries by asking for them no salt. By asking fries for no salt, they have to make fresh fries for you as well as no salts. So then you won't get the added sodium and the added spices and you won't get too dehydrated if you try these fries. So that's the burger is that the fries 
And now let's look at the drink. Now the drink, as I mentioned earlier, the drink is very good. Very light flavor, juicy, fruity flavor. You also have carbonation in the drink. And it's very mild, it's refreshing. It's a nice drink. The only issue is ice. Lots and lots and lots of ice, which renders basically you barely get any of the drink. And I added the ice cream in there as well, so I can get a little bit of a float. And I would honestly recommend if you're going to get this, see if you can get this without ice. If you can't get it without ice, maybe try it once, but don't, I wouldn't really recommend this because there's so much ice, you get barely any volume. And for, I believe 350 yen, you're not getting your money's worth with this. So definitely get this without ice. But aside from that, this thing only being the only disappointment, mainly just because of the ice. If I got it without ice, it'd be better. So this was all right. This was all right. Well, the fries, they're great. Definitely try them. Definitely go check them out. The two burgers, both are equally delicious and just worth the price. But again, get the cheese one. Or if you're not a big fan of cheese, if you're lactose intolerant, get the non-cheese one. But either way, I'm very happy with what McDonald's Japan has put throughout this uh, campaign period. And I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, make sure to give me a like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite McDonald's item is. Until next time, my friends. Peace out.